Greetings Duplicant and welcome to the breach. After breaking into the oil biome I've managed to refine some crude oil into petroleum and turn that petroleum into plastic. That means that I now have access to steam turbines which is the preferred method of cooling things down that are really hot. I'm going to demonstrate this by strapping on a cooling solution onto the hydrogen vent. The vent releases the gas at 500 degrees Celsius, so even steel will melt at that temperature if it's sat in the gas for too long. Okay, it doesn't melt, it takes damage, but oh, what's the difference? It stops working. The turbine takes in steam at 125 degrees Celsius, produces power depending on the heat of the steam, and then outputs water at 95 degrees Celsius. In this setup, you can see me taking this hot water and running it past the steam turbine again to act as coolant, and then this hot water is put back into the steam vapor room. Presently, this area is a vacuum, but when I add water to it, it this will turn into steam and there'll only be steam in this room, making sure the turbine works as efficiently as possible. This metal plate is used to transfer the heat from the hydrogen into the steam room. The conductive piping here helps the flow of heat from the steam turbine into the water. Here you can see me siphoning off a little bit of water from the self-powered oxygen maker and adding it into the steam room. A few hundred kilos of water should be enough to keep the steam turbine active and being able to draw heat away from the hydrogen. Inside the hydrogen room, I've used some temperature shift plates to move the heat directly from the vent towards the metal plate. And there we have the water added to what will be the steam room. We are now going to uh, attach the steam turbine to the main grid. It will only uh, produce a small amount of power and only when the vent is active, but we might as well use that free energy. So I've just uh, drawn a circle around the automation for the hydrogen vent. I have a pressure sensor and a temperature sensor, both attached to the AND gate and then the gas pump. This just allows me to control how much and when the gas is pumped out to stop any damage to the pump. The steam turbine at the moment is presently sat in a vacuum. This isn't a good thing. I'm going to fill up this room with hydrogen to help the radiation and the conductivity of the pipes and the temperature shift plates.
So between the hot water, the hydrogen and the temperature shift plate, it is a, a balmy 80 plus degree Celsius in this room, but it's not going to cause any damage to any of the infrastructure. Oh, we're just going to get our duplicates to clean and tidy the area up and then seal in the steam turbine to stop heat escaping into the surrounding environment. So we've sealed the steam turbine in, but we've left the liquid lock there if needed in case it overheats and we need to go in and repair. And now for something completely different. This always seems to be the area where I build my temporary solutions. Uh, first of all, I wasn't producing enough reed fibre to keep the repairs ongoing on my atmospheric suits. I've got a little farming plot and an ice cooling fan to help just add a lot of reed fibre until I can get a permanent solution to this problem. I also set up my temporary refining solution to produce petroleum that I could then turn into plastic so then I could produce a steam turbine. I also opened up the copper volcano and added a steam turbine to the top of it so now I have access to copper metal without having to refine any more copper ore. And here we are in the oil biome. As you can see, I have three of my oil wells very close together. So the plan is to enclose them in one building, making it easy to supply them with water and to remove the natural gas. Every few cycles the pressure will build up in the oil well and a duplicate will need to release the natural gas. While this is happening the water in the oil well will start to heat up. Even though my duplicates are highly skilled at machinery because of the gym I have set up, I'm still going to assist the cooling of the oil well by having them sat in their own sump of oil. This will stop the water turning to steam and damaging the oil wells. Normally in a playthrough each individual oil well would have its own room and extraction area. But as these are so close I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I might even add the oil refiner into the building because that releases natural gas as well. My initial source of water is going to be the cool steam vent which was next to where I have my temporary industrial area. This won't supply enough water for three oil wells but I'll be able to tie in other water sources when I need them. For example the hot salt water geyser is full at the moment. Or 
all that lava is tempting me to build a petroleum boiler, but I need to concentrate on what I'm doing now, not what I want to do in the future. Adding the liquid lock here, we're going to need to pump out all the polluted oxygen in here. So once we've got the oil wells working, there'll only be natural gas in this area, which will make it easier to move it to a natural gas generator. getting the pumps in to start the vacuuming out process. Unfortunately, I had planned to get this completed today, but I've run out of uh, recording time. So we're going to finish this in the next episode. I hope you'll join me for the next episode where I finish this build off. But as always, I'll see you on the other side.